Hello everyone and welcome back to SoCaliRific. Today we are back here at Knott's Berry Farm because Spooky Farm has officially started. And if you don't know what Spooky Farm is, it is like a family friendly Halloween event. It is free, it does come like with your admission ticket, but it is only Thursday through Sunday. So if you plan to come to Spooky Farm, some of these events and activities you will only see Thursday through Sunday. It is running now until October 31st. So I'm gonna take you around and show you some things that Spooky Farm has to offer. So come along and let's go. So during the Halloween season, Knott's does have some Halloween overlays on some of their attractions. And one of the ones I'm about to show you is at the Grand Sierra Railroad, a trip through Camp Spooky. And it's a cute little train ride they have this year round, but during Halloween, they give it a little spooky vibe. It's not scary, it's super cute. It's just decorated with like some little monsters. So it's definitely a must do, especially if you have kids. I like to go on it just for like a little relaxing tour. Outside windows here at the Camp Snoopy store are decorated, but we're gonna go inside and just see if they have anything new here inside. They did receive these new plushes. Look at we got Snoopy as a vampire, Woodstock, and Charlie Brown. And they also got in this nightlight as well. I did show you my last video, like some of these items, but here is just a little overview of what they currently have. Also another must do here at Spooky Farm is that you must come take your picture with the characters because they're definitely dressed up in their Halloween attire. Right now at the meet and greet headquarters we do have Snoopy and he is dressed up so we definitely have to go say hi and take a look at his costume. Hi Snoopy, I just wanted to show off your super cute Halloween costume. You look so adorable. Oh my goodness, I love it Snoopy. <laughs> Thank you Snoopy. <laughs> For the fan of the Squishmallows, they do have some Halloween, like Dia de los Muertos inspired ones. They have other ones as well that I'll show you uh, when I pass by them. But these are super cute. So if you wanna win some Squishmallows, they do have some Halloween-esque inspired ones. All right, here at the Camp Stupy Theater, they finally have a new show for this season. And it is the Great Pumpkin Palooza. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this show and just show you what it entails. Awkward. Everybody say boo! Everybody say boo! Everybody say boo! Boo! Everybody say boo! 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 Spooky can be fun! Spooky can be fun! Spooky can be fun! Spooky can be fun! Spooky can be fun. Spooky can be fun. bonus that I didn't notice if they had this last year they do have ghost town spooky characters um, it's kind of cool because you're used to seeing like the monsters during scary farm but it's kind of awesome to see them during spooky farm and I see a lot of the kids interact with them they're not scary they're nice they just look a little spooky but they're super fun and welcoming so that's awesome too so if you want to come grab a picture you know start prepping those children for scary farm dip their toes in they could meet some ghouls some little ghost town scare actors I'm always looking for customers <laughs> Yeah, well, what's your favorite kind of wood? You like oak, mahogany, rosewood? Oak, all right. What kind of satin do you like? Do you like uh, red satin, black satin, blue satin? 
Blue eye, black set. Yeah. How about for uh, handles? You like brass, silver, or gold? Brass. Brass. Yeah. All right, I'll have that ready for you in about 70 years. Okay. Thank All right. You. All right. So of course we had to stop by our favorite, the Ghost Town Bakery, and we had to look at all the treats because they are decorated so cute for Halloween. Like they have these sugar cookies, and they just look so nice, so festive, and they have a lot of other desserts and treats that look so scrumptious. But today we decided to try the Jack O' Lantern Pumpkin Cheesecake and the Pecan Brownie Chocolate Bomb. They look so good, so hopefully they do taste delicious. I'm telling you, if you want like a nice dessert treat, the Ghost Town Bakery is a place to go to, and their coffee is delicious as well. Okay, so we just enjoyed both of the desserts. They were really good. Um, they are both like rich. Um, the pumpkin cheesecake, I don't know, it had like a carrot cake flavor as well. I did enjoy it, but I do enjoy the one at Disneyland more. That one it was a little better than this one, but this one's still good as well. Um, the chocolate pecan brownie bomb, so good, but it is rich. Like you could definitely share that like little pieces with like whoever you're with. And honestly, if I had a glass of milk, it'd be like way better, but it's so good. It's really good. So I do enjoy both, but you're going to have to share because they're both like on the sweeter rich side. So here at the Birdcage Theater during Spooky Farm is where you could find the Bob Baker Marionette Halloween Spooktacular. It is such a cute little puppet show. The Bob Baker Marionettes have been in Los Angeles like since the 60s, I believe, but they have been doing shows with knots recently and they're super cute. to say hi to Dave while well, the stable has been taken over by some calico creepy critters so we're gonna go inside I'm gonna show you what they have currently during Halloween we got different stations we got like a reptile station some spiders over there a snake we got the tortoise out here by himself little spooky graveyard so another super cool thing for Spooky Farm, if you are 12 or under, you get free trick-or-treating and all the booths are found throughout Ghost Town. So that's where most of the trick-or-treating will be done. So you just go station to station to grab your candy. They give you a little bag and you could come and just trick-or-treat all you want. So over here in this area is where you could actually decorate some pumpkins. The price ranges from six to eight dollars, but they have a lot of little styles to choose from. And if you don't feel like decorating a pumpkin, you could also decorate a cookie. You get a little kit. It's like of a little pumpkin. They give you some frosting and sprinkles. Oh, some of them are cracked, so make sure to get one that's not cracked. They do have some booths with crafts and like different merchandise, so that's super cool as well. So if you wanna buy some festive Halloween stuff, you can. They have really cute like bows, headbands, super cute, especially for Halloween. All right, so it looks like Ghost Town Trail is actually open during Spooky Farm, so let's go in and just see what kind of offerings they have. Oh, Hello, my hi! Young my name is Alistair J. Felton, and what is your name, my young child? Jenai. Gemini? Jenai. Jenai. Yeah. Jen and I. Yeah. My name is Alistair J. Felton, like oh. I said before. I make toys. Oh. Alistair, this is my toy. This is, this is Baba. Can you say Baba? Baba. A little girl's child. Oh. Friend, their pet. This is Stormy. Yes. Would you like to pet Stormy? Sure. One little right here, a look at some of the squishmallows that you could win. They're super cute. So I showed you the show during Scary Farm, but during the week is where you could find Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies. They are here performing. I only got the end of their performance. They do do multiple shows throughout the day. So if you want to catch Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies, this is where you can find them. So another attraction that has a Halloween overlay 
during the Halloween season is a Calico Candy Mine Ride. All right, so the candy has taken over the Calico Mine Ride and it looks like really whimsical and cute and I really do enjoy that song. Um, we're not going on it today, but I will go on it the next time I come just to show you like what it looks like. But it's super cute, especially for the kiddos. So don't miss out on the Calico Candy Mine Ride. And in my last video, I did show you that there is a Halloween overlay in the log ride. It is a Halloween Hootenanny. Again, it's a little spooky, but I think the kids will like it. They might get a little spooked out, but it is fun. So that's also another attraction that's a must do here and not during the Halloween season. Okay, so another event that they have is the costume cavalcade. At 4 p.m., if you go to the main stage, all the kiddos in their costumes can go and walk around with Charlie Brown and Lucy, who are also dressed up in their costumes. They look super adorable, and they just do like a whole little circle to show off their costumes. Outside my window. <laughs> They have like these scarecrow stilt walkers. They look super awesome. And they also have Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies up there playing some like spooky tunes. So, such a fun time. All right, so when you join in on the cavalcade, you get this really cute carnival costume cavalcade button. So make sure to pick one up if you're here for the little costume cavalcade. All right, everyone, so that was our time here at Spooky Farm. Like I said, it is free when you get a ticket to Knott's and it's Thursday through Sunday. And I showed you like a ton of things you could do. Um, it's really fun, like for the families. It feels very festive and there's always something to do. So make sure to stop by Spooky Farm. We have until October 31st. All right, but for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.